Hey folks, so we are a few days out from the summer book vacation read-on thing video. Anyway, I came out with that like a couple of weeks ago. Um, so it is coming up this weekend between the 21st and the 24th, Friday through Monday. So I figured it is about time to just remind y'all if you want to take part in it and also let you know about the books that I chose for this particular uh, readathon. And again, if you are interested in purchasing it all, um, just let me know whether it's on here or on Instagram. My link to that is usually in the description box and I think it's also on like my about section. Um, so just let me know if you are participating in what you plan on reading at all. Um, and again, you don't have to follow the challenges. The challenges are just here for like fun. Um, but if you don't want to read specifically books within these, you don't have to. You can just read whatever. The point of it is to just have fun and take like a mini little mind vacation for a weekend. So okay, let's go into the books that I picked for this coming uh, weekend. So first up, the themes. Uh, the first book challenge is Cabin in the Woods. Uh, read a spooky book that you might read if you were at an isolated cabin. And for this one I have two possibilities actually. So I do have to work Friday and Monday and oftentimes during work if things aren't crazy I listen to podcasts. So I figured instead of listening to a podcast I could actually listen to an audiobook unless things are just nuts at work. Um, so for this spooky book, I am choosing to listen to an audiobook of Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. Uh, this is a gothic um, classic novel. It's about a young woman who meets this like mysterious um, wealthy widower who sweeps her off her feet and she marries him pretty suddenly. And they end up going back to his like manor and she finds out when she starts living there that the whole place and the staff are kind of haunted by the memory of his late first wife and it's supposed to be extra spooky i think i saw like a black and white movie of it when i was younger but i could be wrong um but that is one possibility for that and if i have the time to fit this one in or if the audiobook doesn't work out and I end up needing to read a physical book instead, I have Dead Voices by Catherine Arden. This is book two in the, I think it's going to be called the Small Spaces Quartet. Um, this is following Ollie again um, with her friends. They are going to a ski lodge in the middle of winter that is potentially haunted because there's like a ghost hunter that's also along on this trip as well. It's supposed to be extra spooky. So yeah, that'll be cool. And then let's see, the second challenge is camping, a book that involves um, the outdoors in some way or something about local uh, legends from your area. Now I do not actually have any unread books and that's mostly what I'm trying to focus on are like unread books, but I don't actually have any of those that involve like the outdoors or anything, but I have the next best thing. Um, it is this book called Sisters of the Earth. This is a collection of poems, essays, stories, journal entries by a whole bunch of female authors. It's edited and put together by Lorraine Anderson. Um, the authors are uh, Emily Dickinson, Laura Ingalls Wilder, Terry Tempest Williams, Joy Harjo, uh, Alice Walker, Adrian Rich, like a whole bunch of women just writing about nature and their connection to it. This was actually one of my textbooks back in college, but to be honest, I don't think I read the whole thing the way through and yeah, I remember nothing about the contents of this at all, so it's almost like reading a brand new book. Um, yeah, so I figure that will be a good one to read about nature. Uh, the next challenge is By the Sea. 
a comfy uh, breezy beach read or anything that you really would love to read while you're, you're at the beach or a book that involves specifically the seashore or ocean. Um, for this one, I don't know about anyone else, but the books that I tend to bring to read at the beach are mysteries. So I decided I'm going to pick up The Long Fall by Walter Mosley. This is the first Leonid McGill series. Um, this McGill mystery, excuse me. Um, I believe Walter Mosley is more well known for like another mystery series that predates this one. Um, but this just sounded wicked cool. The uh, involves like a, you know, hard boiled, hard drinker, ex boctor, private eye, and working cases in New York City and everything shady and stuff like that. It sounds, I don't know, I'm getting kind of like Raymond Chandler vibes from it a little bit, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. And the last challenge is International Traveler, a book set in a place you've always wanted to visit. Now I have a big list of uh, different countries that I would love to visit, um, but one of the ones at the top of my list is the UK. So for this one, I chose Longbourn by Joe Baker. It is set in the UK. It's like a historical fiction leaning more towards the fiction side just because it is kind of like a sequel of sorts to Pride and Prejudice, only it takes place from the point of view of one of the housemaids at um, Longbourn, which is the Bennett family house. So uh, it looks like there are some mysterious circumstances and whatnot. I think it's going to be pretty cool. And bonus points for this one, this has been sitting on my shelf for like two or three years. So I can finally read it. That's cool. So that's pretty much it. These are the books that I'm going with for the challenge. If you have any uh, books that you're going to be reading for it, again, just let me know. Um, if you are participating, sweet, awesome. Uh, this is going to be fun. And uh, yeah. I hope that you guys are having a great week and that if you do participate you have a good time um yeah i'm gonna go now see you later